All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He repped life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. All right. Salute everybody. Good morning to y'all. Happy Easter Sunday to everybody. Hopefully y'all staying blessed today. And um, we're going to get into this situation that's going on with 50 and Puff. As uh, Fifth have came out in response to uh, Boosie, as Boosie uh, went viral uh, yesterday, if I believe he went viral, going in on uh, black folks and black celebrities uh, for not standing up for P. Diddy when they was all shouting out P. Diddy, showing love to him just a couple weeks ago before this whole raid situation and thing went down. And so Boosie basically was on social media going in, claiming, you know, saying, why ain't nobody standing up for Puff, man? Ain't nobody, you know, basically saying that dudes is out here, you know, selling out, that y'all was cool, y'all was shouting the man out, y'all was rocking with the man a few weeks ago. But now everybody don't got low. And so, <clears throat> you know, some people have wondered why uh, nobody, none of these celebrities, none of these people, have really stood up. It's only been a couple. Well, <clears throat> uh, in response to what Boosie said, 50's come out and make some shocking claims. So 50 Cent went to his Instagram yesterday and uh, last night he went to the, his Instagram and he stated that Boosie said, Boosie said, where the blank is his friends? You know, talking about Puff. And he says, <clears throat> they're not saying nothing because they didn't know he was recording everything. LOL, <laughs> wait till I get the tapes. This right here makes sense about everything. Um, if this is true, that Puff secretly recorded a lot of the celebrity friends uh, that were at these parties, because that was was in a lawsuit too, on, um, you know, uh, Lil Rod put that in his lawsuit. And I think Kathy may have mentioned this as well, but Lil Rod definitely mentioned that, you know, P. Diddy allegedly had secret cameras in every room, audio and video, and had, and had recordings of all of these different celebrities, athletes, and politicians that were at his parties. And so, you know, I think when that information was revealed, um, and now 50 saying that, it was recordings, and if P. Diddy was recording all of the secret things that was going on, that would make sense to us why ain't nobody, another reason why ain't nobody speaking up. Obviously, a lot of people are not speaking up because they don't want their name involved in none of this stuff as far as, you know what I'm saying, they just don't, their, their representation, you know, their brand, whatever it is, is telling them their sponsors and stuff, hey man, don't say nothing. Like sometimes that happens, man. When somebody get in trouble and you have a lot of sponsorships and stuff like that, your people will tell you, hey, stay out of this. Don't say nothing. Don't get involved because you don't want nothing to come on your brand and you don't want your name to be thrown into this. Now you become a part of this situation. And so that could be an issue or people could be upset with Puff in real life because of what 50 is saying is true. I mean, if somebody's secretly recording you, you know what I mean? I mean, somebody in the comments that says 50's a rat. But let me ask you this question. If somebody's secretly recording you against your will, who's the rat? Think about that. You know what I mean? If somebody secretly record you, let's say I'm going to your, house, your crib, I'm kicking it with you, everything like that. You know what I'm saying? We chopping it up. And, you know, I'm at a party, everything like that, your crib. And... 
I'm being secretly recorded and I don't know this. How the hell would you feel? Yeah, I'd be upset too. So, I mean, him saying that, that to Boosie, that's why nobody's really saying nothing from the, in the celebrity side. It kind of makes sense. You know what I'm saying? If you burnt all those bridges, if you alienated all these people, then nobody's gonna say nothing. nobody's gonna stand up for you now because they're gonna be like, damn, hold on, this, this dude was recording me the whole time. You know what I mean? And so again, like, you know, this is just man, it's something else, man. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm talking about, you know, Lil Rob was alleging that P. Diddy was doing this at his crib in a lawsuit, like recording all these people. And he he alleged that he was recording them in compromising positions. Listen, man, so again, man, you know what I mean? Um, 50 saying this, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of people talking on this comment section about the situation, you know? Um, and a lot of people saying, hey, man, if this is true, it's foul, you know what I mean? And so you would think, you know, why isn't a lot of people speaking up? Because I'm going to tell y'all something. I'll be honest with y'all. If you think about it, more people spoke up for Bill Cosby. I'm just being honest. Go back and think. More people spoke up for Bill Cosby in the, in the community than they is for Puff. If you think about it, more people spoke up for R. Kelly over the years. When he was going through the first trials, more people stood up for R. and spoke up for R. Kelly. Think about that. I want y'all to really think about that. Like, put that in your mind real quick. Think about that. Like, more people stood up for Bill Cosby in the community. I'm talking about celebrities than they are for Diddy. More people stood up for R. Kelly in the community than they did for Diddy. Let me give y'all one more. More people stood up for O.J. Simpson in the black community, celebrities, all of these people, than for P. Diddy. I just gave you three names of prominent black folks that were in bad situations that it would have been horrible to stand beside them and people stood tall next to them. Celebrities, everything. More people stood tall for Michael Jackson when he was going through his troubles and his cases. More people stood up for Michael Jackson. Think about all of this. But nobody's standing up for Diddy. And 50 Cent said they're not doing it because they didn't know he was recording everything. Allegedly, is what 50 Cent is. He's accusing P. Diddy of, you know, secretly recording all those things. And he said he's going to get the tapes. Now, I told y'all yesterday, TMZ said that there's a seller who has three TBs, uh, over 13,000 files of private P. Diddy tapes that he's selling for $1.5 million on a cryptocurrency website. And so we'll see if that real or that comes to. I'm just going to say it like this. If you did that to people around you, it does make sense if nobody's standing tall for you because people feel like they've been betrayed by you. You know, let me say this to you. Like, when you have a history, right, because people say this. I heard, like, some people saying this too. Like, uh, I think it was Slim Thug. He stood up and was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Why? Everybody, you know, um, coming down on Diddy. And then also, shout out to Slim Thug. I like Slim Thug too, man. Um, Boosie. He said, yo, why ain't nobody standing up for Diddy? Well, <clears throat> you got to go ask all the black folks that claim they didn't get paid for their services. You got to go ask all the black folks, the brothers, the brothers, you know what I'm saying? And it's in some of the sisters too, but mainly the brothers that claim that they didn't get paid proper royalties for music or they didn't get paid properly for the work they did on albums and things like this you know what i mean there have been a lot of complaints from people over the years as far as the money issue with puff like i want, I want y'all to think about something if you're working for somebody right let's say you're working for somebody and they don't pay you your bread and your family dependent on that bread how you gonna feel about that person when you see them splurging and spending money on other things but they ain't paying you. They treat you like shit. So people are gonna say, hey man, I'm supposed to sit up here and tell a line for a dude who treat his own people like shit. 
But then when he get on the other side, he don't treat them other people like that. You think if he doing a, a record with Justin Timberlake or, or, or Justin Bieber, he ain't paying them all their bread? They getting all their bread easy. Easy. You know, Gene Deal said something in the interview last night. I heard him in the interview. He said something. And they asked him in an interview he did. They said, Gene, um, did you ever witness anything with P. Diddy and J-Lo? And he said, hell no. P. Diddy never disrespected J-Lo like that. Like he said, I'd never seen P. Diddy treat J-Lo like I saw him treat the other woman. J-Lo was not black, but he said he didn't see him treat J-Lo like that. He said because J-Lo had her own. She didn't depend on him. She had her own, you know what I mean? So, you know, and he never, he never once, according to Gene Deal, treated J-Lo like the way he saw her treat other women, according to Gene Deal. You know what I mean? And so, I mean, listen, man, I'm going to say it to y'all like this. I wasn't there. I don't know, but Boosie say, what, where, is, where the blank is everybody at? I mean, bro, I, I, you know, I thought about that. I was like, damn, where is everybody at? Because a lot of people stood up for Michael Jackson. A lot of people stood up for R. Kelly. A lot of people stood up for Bill Cosby. A lot of black folks stood tall for O.J. Simpson, even though O.J. wasn't even claiming a black community. Look at all the black celebrities and black folks that stood up for O.J. Simpson. Think about this. Think about this. And sometimes in life, it is how you treat people, how I treat my own people, how I treat my own employees, how I treat my own friends. You know what I mean? Am I really treating you right? And then when somebody comes along and they allege that I've recorded secretly without your permission, all of these compromising things, am I really going to respect you in the end of the day? Am I going to go out of my way and against the, 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 the will of my attorneys and my representation and my sponsors to speak up for you? Think about that. Think about that. You know what I mean? So I hope it's not true that Diddy did this because it'd be the ultimate betrayal of his friends. I hope that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Um... But it is precarious that really nobody, you can count two people who have stood up for P. Diddy this whole situation, like Tyrese and one other person. That's it. All them other people that was beside Diddy, ain't none of them came out and made statements standing up for Puff. But again, if you look at all those other black prominent folks that was in situations, they all stood up and spoke up. It was way more people in the black community that stood up and spoke up for them. You know what I mean? And that's the, that's the difference. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference, man. Um, shout out to Third Eye TV. He said they want us to stand up for Puff, but what about Kobe? Yeah, nobody want to stand up for Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Except for the fans. Uh, a lot of us fans, that was in the, we, we stood up for Kobe. But, you know, Kobe, he was so insulated. He really didn't have no friends because he didn't hang out with nobody. He was insulated. So his situation, I look at differently. You know what I mean? But, I mean, I'm just going so to say this to y'all. Like, if you secretly record me, bro, that all lines of respect have been crossed. We won't have no respect no more if you secretly recorded me, bro. Against my will, you secretly record me, bro. I can't respect you no more as a man, bro. You know what I'm saying? If I do work, if I work for you and I do work for you and you, you didn't pay me, you know what I'm saying? But you jerking me around, treating me like ish, and all these, allegedly, all these other things. Like, how can I respect you? How can I respect you as a man and stand up for you? You know what I mean? So that's how it goes sometimes. Like, you going through something, people find out stuff, and then look. You know what I mean? And then look. Oh, I agree. Unapologetically black. You ain't saying nothing I don't agree with. I totally agree. I totally agree. I wasn't cool when he recorded Buck and put the audio on. I was not cool with that. Totally, a thousand percent agree. A thousand percent. One thousand percent. You know what I'm saying?
That's your man's. He going through something. Um, you know what I'm saying? He he venting something off to you, and you release that. Like, I that's what you just said was right. He was totally wrong for recording that audio and releasing that. Ne never should have happened. You know what I mean? And so I think you're you're right about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it does like make you think like, but in this situation, why wouldn't nobody stand up for Puff? Because like, go back and remember, like, if you go back, if you guys were uh, like alive, some of y'all too young, but if you were alive, I think it was was it almost over 20 years ago when Kelly when Kells was going through his first situation. Remember when they had the alleged tape of Kells, um, and people were saying, "Oh, that's R. Kelly in the tape. That's R. Kelly." And I think they was trying to put him on trial then. Um, they were trying to, like, get him in trouble then. But you had a lot of black folks and celebrities that came out and were speaking up for Kells. Like, nah, that ain't him. That ain't him. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you had black folks that was riding for Kells from then all the way till he got uh, locked up recently. Right? And they were out here in the public standing up for Kells. Take, taking those, um, taking all those shots. Same thing with Bill Cosby. Look how many prominent black folks stood up and spoke up for Bill Cosby, and was like, "Man, we gonna speak up, for, man. We stand on, we stand on business with Bill Cosby." Same thing with Michael Jackson. Like everybody was stood up for Michael Jackson. Was like, "Man, y'all ain't finna do Mike like that." And you look across the board, like it's been black folks. O.J. Simpson, the whole community. Bro, let me tell y'all something about O.J. The O.J. trial was crazy, bro. Bro, I was in, what, middle school, the O.J. trial? Bro, people was literally fighting each other over the O.J. trial. It was literally classmates, black and white, fighting each other over the O.J. trial. It was literally fights in the streets over the outcome of the O.J. trial. Because you had so many black folks that stood up for O.J. Simpson. And I'm telling y'all this. That was a crazy situation. That was the most unreal situation I've ever seen. Like, we stopped class. I, I will never forget. I was in, in biology class. We stopped class. And the teacher turned the TV on and put the, put the, uh, put the news on for the verdict. And we all stood still, waiting on that verdict. You understand what I'm saying? And I just, I couldn't, I was like, dang, bro. This, and I knew we was going through something big at that time. And I was younger, but I ain't know how big until now. I knew it was big, though, because he talked about it every day. But you had a lot of black folks that were celebrities, prominent black folk, that stood up behind OJ, even though they didn't like OJ because he was black. So they stood up for the brother. You know what I mean? They not doing that with Diddy. Diddy has been with all of these people, and you ain't seen none of them coming out. Only like two that have came out and spoke up for him. That's very interesting when you think about that. But over the years, you've seen a lot of people complaining that Diddy didn't pay him their money. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about black folks. I'm talking about celebrities. Musicians. You guys seen this? All this is well documented. You know what I mean? And making and then you hearing all these new people coming out with allegations. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing more people come out with allegations than I am people coming up trying to take up for Diddy. You know? So it makes it look bad now because they're because everybody gonna say, hey man. That's 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 messed up. Like y'all wasn't saying nothing then, but now y'all want to say something, bro. Some of these people are the coast of clear type of people. They wait till the, they feel like the coast is clear to attack you or say something about you to then say something. That's what they waiting on. They wait. They say, "Oh man, we're gonna wait till the coast is clear to get him." Now people feel like they can go at Puff without no repercussions because they've already seen. Uh, a uh, uh, weakness in the armor with the Cassie situation. I told y'all this. I told y'all. Right? So some people feel like 
I, and, and here's what I think. A very few people think that they want, uh, it's, it's about justice. All the other people, to me, it's about money. Because it wasn't a problem until money is involved. If there was money paid, there would nothing be said. And that's why, like, when we look at all the other people, think about this. The other people that's being accused, they ain't got no money issues with nobody. They ain't got nobody saying that they didn't pay them or they missed out on a paycheck. All them people been paid and they ain't got no reason to come out and say nothing negative about the person. But you hear so many people saying negative things about Puff because people accuse him of not paying these people over the years, treating them like, uh, you know, boo-boo. All kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't just black folks either. It's been a couple of white folks that have accused Puff. That one girl that was from the uh, that group. I forget her name. Her interview was online. She been did this. This ain't something that she waited to do. There were interviews that was been online for years. It just never was pushed to the, you know what I'm saying? To the top. You know what I mean? Shout out to my boy East Coast Kev. He said, salute ticket. I was on middle school too when it happened. It was predominantly white school. And when they said OJ not guilty, them folks lost their mind. The blo oh, listen, let me tell you something. I told you, bro. Cats wanted to fight. That day in school, Cats wanted to fight, bro. I never forgot. I think it was like a Thursday or Friday. I know it was close to the weekend. I can't remember exactly the day. I felt like it was close to the weekend because I remember that we didn't go back to that class for a couple days. I think it was close to the weekend. But, yep, that was the first time we ever stopped class for anything. Teacher stopped class, put a big TV in the room, plug it in, and we watching the trial. It's like, what? Yep, watching the verdict. And you've seen all the black folks come out. All of them came out for OJ. And OJ had basically... Here's the crazy part. He basically uh, was not claiming his race. He wasn't really claiming at that time, you know, saying that he was black. He's like, I'm OJ. You know what I'm saying? I'm juice. I'm the juice. But black folks still took OJ under their wing and stood up and stood up for him. You know what I'm saying? And to this day. You know what I mean? And to this day. And so that is the situation um, that we're not seeing now. So when you think about what, what 50 said to Boosie, because Boosie was get, getting upset saying where are all the black folks at, well, where they going to be at if you don't treat it all of them, allegedly treat it all of them like shit and secretly recorded them? Where they going to be? Where they going to be at? Who going to stand tall for you if the whole time you've been treating people like, like crap? And now it's time. And, and guess what? Them other boys ain't gonna stand up tall for you. No, they ain't finna say nothing. Bieber and all them boys, you ain't finna find them. They're not finna come nowhere around this. They ain't finna touch this with a 10 foot pole. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Used to people say, oh man, where's all the artists and stuff? They speaking up for Puff, all these artists that made all these hits and stuff. They've been some of the ones that have been accusing them. Not getting their bread over the years. Being mistreated. What you think? They're going to go out their way now and stand up for him when he's in a situation? But when they was on record begging him to get their money, nobody else cared. So I want y'all to think, put that in your mind and think about that. For a lot of these years, a lot of these people have been crying out saying, hey, man, I ain't get my money. Just that in the third, bad business, blah, say, blah, nobody cared. Nobody really cared. Nobody cared for their ill ill will or what they were going through. You know what I'm saying? And they had families to feed and all of this other stuff going on around themselves. You know what I mean? Think about that. And now, this boy alleging that he got tapes, videos, and that Puff is secretly recorded all them celebrities. Man, listen, man. And he put in there celebrities, athletes, and politicians he put that in the lawsuit he put that in the lawsuit y'all matter of fact let me pull that part up he put that in the lawsuit i couldn't believe 
That boy put that in a lawsuit. He damn sure did. He put that in a lawsuit. And I just, like I said, I cannot believe that that boy put that thing in that lawsuit like that. So I think a lot of celebrities seen that and they may have been, you know, um, at some of those parties. And they like, damn, dog, in my own tape, in my own tape, shout out to my girl Peachy uh, with the membership, 16 months. Salute to you, baby, for supporting me all that time. She said, good morning, Ticket and chat been under the weather but i've been watching the shows and patreon doing excellent work salute to you my sis y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to the podcast show too patreon.com backslash ticket tv make sure y'all go do that too i'm gonna show y'all right now what this boy said and see this is why like i think people like 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 boosie asked that question why ain't nobody standing up for puff well, when this boy said these things in this lawsuit and he putting out these pictures and he's saying that he got videos and all this other stuff, well, this could be a reason why. And he name he naming people names and saying all this stuff, this could be why. You know what I mean? And then, like I said, you're going to have to call, uh, you're going to have to um, prove these things that you said. He claims he can. Right? See, I'm finna show y'all something right here. I'm finna show y'all something. Right? I'm finna show y'all this. Because I think people got to really understand. You know, and they say, and boosting them say, hey man, why ain't nobody standing up for Puff? You know, in the industry, the community. You know what I mean? I'm about to put this on the screen for y'all. Show y'all what I'm talking about this morning, man. Put this on the screen, man. You know what I mean? Um, right now. Right now. Let me put this up here. All right? And see, I'm going to show y'all something. So now, do these people know, and this is the question, I have a question. When this happened, did these people know they were being, fo photos were being taken of them and they were being videoed? Did they know that? That is the question that I think, you know, um, you know, has to be asked. Is that question? You know, did these people, I mean, did they know? Because, I mean, when that lawsuit came out, it had to be a lot of stuff in there that people didn't, uh, you know, people didn't know, man. It had to be, man. But I'm going to put this in here right now. I'm going to show you all what I'm talking about. I'm about to, let me, I got to take that part out right there. I'm going to put that part in there. I want to show you all, man. Um, right show y'all man show y'all this right now and so you know this is this could be a reason why this definitely could be a reason why man you know um i gotta go back to the part where he said this at right here you know what i mean I'm going to go back to this part right here. Right. Um, here we go right here. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So I don't want this to be, um, I don't want this to be, I had to X out that picture, man. I apologize, y'all. I had to X out that picture. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm finna show y'all. I'm finna show y'all.
And this is another reason why they asked for that that um that uh the subpoena of the flight records and all that other stuff. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna put all that on there. I'm not gonna put all that on there. I'm just gonna put this right here. All right, let me just put this right here. Let me turn this turn this volume down for y'all. I'll show y'all this though, man. This is this is the situation, man. And I told you guys this, man. Um, you know, it's 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 it's, it's an alarming situation, bro. Let me put this right here for you guys. Hold on, put this right here. Um, see, y'all can hear me right now. Oh, echo. All right, here we go. And we're going to turn the echo down. All right. Now, look at this, y'all. Let me put this up here. One, two, three. All right, there we go. Put those three up there right now. All right, let me take this down. Here we go. Now, you see that? You see that, you guys? That was in the official lawsuit. So this man said in the official lawsuit, he says, he claims that as the introduction, Mr. Combs suggested that Cuba, meaning Cuba Gooden Jr., get to know Mr. Jones better, right? So, and, if, and this is in the lawsuit right here, the official lawsuit. He says, Mr. Combs and Cuba Gooden Jr. moments before Mr. Jones is assaulted. So, he puts that picture up there. Do do this person know that that's even being photoed? Huh? Do they know that they even getting photoed? Do they know that? Did they even getting photoed? Do they know that? I want y'all to look at that. Do they know that they even getting photoed? Does, does Cuba know he getting photoed right there? It says it's evidenced by a video of which screenshots. Now look at this. It says as evidence by a video. So he got the screenshots to the video, which means he had to have the actual video. But he didn't put it in the lawsuit because it's a PDF, which means he probably gave the video to the feds. It says 112. That's crazy. 112, it says, as evidence by a video, which screenshots are in embedded below. So he got the video too. Cuba Gooding Jr. began allegedly according to his lawsuit, began touching uh -uh, and fondling Mr. Jones' legs and upper inner thighs near his beefcake, right? The smell of his back near his uh and his shoulders. The small of his back, excuse me, near his and his shoulders. So it says, read this now. So it didn't say, oh, he just got screenshot. That's a screenshot of a video he claims. So he put the screenshot in the actual lawsuit because you couldn't put the video in there. So did he give the feds? See, that's the question. See, here's the thing. See, if I'm Cuba Good, do I know he's, do I know this being recorded? Am I, am I doing this if I know I'm being recorded? See, this is what he put in there. So now, in order to go through with his lawsuit, he has to present that evidence that he has that video. Because it says, as evidence by a video of which screenshots are embedded below, Cuba Gooding Jr. began touching, blanking, blanking, and blanking his legs, upper and inner thighs near his beefcake, and small of his back near his blank, and his shoulders. Now read this now. It also says that Mr. Jones was extremely uncomfortable and proceeded to lean away from Mr. Gooding Jr. He rejoiced his advances and Mr. Gooding Jr. did not stop until Mr. Jones forcibly pushed him away following a screenshot. Is The following is a screenshot of the encounter with Cuba Gooding Jr. Now, Think about this. Cuba Gun Jr. has already been involved in allegations before. He's already been alleged before. Right? But now, this dude's saying he got a video, and that's a screenshot. But hold on. 
But see, this and this is why I told y'all this. So who is going, when Diddy says this, he says, Boosie, you said, where his friends at? They ain't going to say nothing because they didn't know he was recording everything. Did Cuba Gooden Jr. know this was being recorded? Now, see, here's the thing about Lil Ride, though, right? See, now, if I'm the lawyers of Puff and Cuba Gooden Jr. and these people, the question I would ask Lil Rod is one question. Lil Rod, you're smiling in that screenshot. You're smiling. Right? You're smiling. This is in a lawsuit. Right? So this is a still shot of an actual video. But does Cuba Gooden Jr. know he's being videoed? Right? And how in God's green earth did Lil Rod get his hands on this video? These are questions that got to be asked. So when y'all say, hey, man, uh, 50 said when Boosie say, hey, why ain't nobody stand? Why ain't no black folks stand up for P. Diddy? Well, apparently, 50 Cent is accusing P. Diddy of recording all of them without them knowing. He said, Boosie said, what a blank is his friends? <laughs> they ain't going to say nothing because they didn't know he was recording everything. LOL, wait till I get the tapes. <laughs> That's what 50 said. Right? And so it says, Mr. Jones had no desire to solicit or have blank with the individual in the previous paragraphs. Mr. Combs used his power, influence, and influence to intimidate and force Mr. Jones into soliciting and sleeping with the individuals. Hold on. So it also says, Mr. Combs used many tactics to maintain domination and control Mr. Jones. He promised him a Grammy for producer of the year for the Love Album. He offered him $250,000 to purchase all the instruments he wanted. He promised him ownership of his $20,000 or $20 million property, Star Island, one Star Island in Miami, Florida. He promised access to record label executives like Defendants, he promised them access to record label execs like defendants that you see named on the screen. And then it says that Mr. Combs often switched up his approach. He would go from promising Mr. Jones the world to threatening him with physical harm. Mr. Combs threatened to blank Mr. Jones' face and inform that Mr. Jones that he's willing to blank his mom. Janice Combs, if he must, in order to get what he wants. So he wouldn't think twice to harm Mr. Jones. Right? This is what, so now 50 says this in, in response to Boosie. You know, Boosie saying, hey, man, you know, hey, shorty, why ain't nobody standing up for Puff? 50 said, hey, man, man got everything on tape. This boy in a lawsuit, he puts out, what is a screenshot of a, of a video that he claims he has? You can see it right there. It says that's evidence by a video of which screenshots embedded, are embedded below. As, as evidence by a video. So it didn't say photos. That's a, that's, that's a video, but that was screenshot that part. Right? So they're going to have to present the video in order to corroborate, because, I mean, you could take this right here and say, oh, well, they was just talking, whatever, whatever, whatever. Like, you got to show the video to show that you was being forced against your will. Well, what if he does have that video? And what if Cuba Gooden Jr. didn't know he was being taped? How does Cuba Gooden Jr. feel right now? All this is alleged. P. Diddy have his day in court. Cuba have his day in court. They all innocent until proven guilty. But in the video, I mean, excuse me, in a lawsuit, the man said he had the video. He said it's a video in the lawsuit. See, you see where I'm coming from? So, and now when 50 does this, saying that there's tapes, when you've heard 50 on interviews in the past,
saying these multiple things about Puff in the past. Now you looking at it like, damn. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, I mean, so I'm still waiting on celebrities to come out and speak on this thing. And I'm, I'm going to show you guys one one other thing, too. I'm going to show you all one other thing that, that is going to hurt, that's going to make this thing look. And this is 73 pages, this lawsuit. I'm going to show you all something, right? I'm going to show you all something, right? 73 pages, right? And so you wonder why ain't nobody speaking out. I mean, if people feel like that they was done dirty, why are they going to speak up for you? But they have spoken up for all these other brothers and sisters before. So when Boosty say that, I mean, this is the reason you got to think about this. But this is the last thing I want to share with y'all. Let me turn this down. Last thing I want to share with y'all, right? So as y'all y'all smash that like button as y'all come on in, right? All right. Smash that like button, right? Here's what's going to get it right here, right? Now, remember, before the raid, before the raid, before the raid, this is what that boy put in that lawsuit. This is how I know he talked to the feds. That boy put that in that lawsuit. Go look at the lawsuit. Page 31 of 73 in the lawsuit, right? He presented photos of P. Diddy with that boy I told y'all about the other day. This boy right here. Now, you remember that boy right there? Now, this is how you know this boy gave the feds information, Lil Rod. Because he put in a lawsuit right there on page 31. He put a picture, two pictures of Puff and this boy together. So he's already given the feds that information. Then he says that, you know, he says, Frank Centella, who is a different person that he put in the picture below this, he said he works alongside Brendan. While Brendan acquires and distributes Mr. Combs blanks and blanks, Brendan carries the money and pays for the blanks and blanks. Well, guess what? He had to have told the feds this and put the feds on Puff with that boy. You know why? Because remember, the feds ran down on Puff and caught that boy at Okalapa Air Opalaka Airport right before they was getting on that plane. And that's when that boy got popped with them charges. And they caught that, they caught that stuff on him. That boy put the feds. So he couldn't be lying about everything because he told the, he told the feds that. This lawsuit came out. In February, this raid just happened this past week. That lawsuit came out in February. February 26th, this lawsuit was filed. Feds probably talked to this dude. This is probably what happened. The feds probably talked to this dude, Lil Rod, asked him about this information he put in the lawsuit, asked him about evidence pertinent to this information, put a follow on P. Diddy, knew where he was at the whole time, Went and got subpoenas for all of the different things they needed. Waited till P. Diddy and that boy was getting ready to hop on that flight. For what? To make it a federal offense at an airport. And hope they came up with something on that boy. Ran down on that boy and popped him at the airport. Right there with Puff. Boy took The boy took the, immediately took the hit. Said it's mine. But just let you know. That that boy gave that info up because that's how they ran down on that boy. That boy gave that info up. So now when you say, hey, man, why is nobody in the industry standing up for P. Diddy? Why is only a few people? Well, when you have multiple people who have accused you over the years of not paying them, Multiple black folks over the years have accused you of treating you treating them like ish. Multiple black folks who have accused you of doing them wrong, treating them bad. And then you have this boy in a lawsuit claiming that you allegedly have video, hidden film, blackmailing all kind of people, allegedly. Politicians, athletes, actors, who the hell gonna stand up for you? Who gonna stand up for you?
Because the people was at these parties, they don't even know if I don't take, they think it like, am I on video? This boy said in the lawsuit, P. Diddy was secretly recording videos. I was at his crib. Was I getting secretly recorded? So now they really ishing bricks. Sitting in the crib thinking like, damn, man, what the hell? And here's the thing. God, if 50 get his hands on any tapes, allegedly, because he going to put it out, bro. He don't care, bro. He don't care. So I hope it's not no tapes. Because I already know, man. If 50 get his hands on them tapes, bro. I'm just telling y'all right now, bro. I hope it ain't none. I'll just be honest with y'all. I hope people just stand out of it for a fact that they don't want their name to be thrown into no kind of legal, you know what I'm saying, or people or themselves to be investigated. A lot of people doing that too. You know? But yeah, man, if you guys remember, as I told y'all, it was a lot of people standing up for, go look at all the people spoke up in the black community for Michael Jackson. Go look at all the black folks that stood up for, for OJ Simpson. Go look at all the black folks that stood up for R. Kelly. I, bro, people couldn't believe it was so many black folks, celebrities standing up for Kells. You can go back. The interviews are all online. When Kelly was going through his trials, you had black folks doing interviews standing up for R. Kelly, celebrities. You can't find one right now except for Tyrese and the boss hog himself. But you can't find nobody else in the community that's standing up as a celebrity that's standing up for none of the, none of the people that was with him because they all thinking like, did this dude really do this? What that boy said he did. You know what I mean? And I mean, listen, bro, you gotta read. See, this this is why I always tell about my peoples. You gotta read the paperwork, bro. The paperwork said. And, and I'm going to leave y'all this right here. This is what I think happened. And I'm going to tell everybody this right now. I, this is what I allegedly think happened. I think that the boy became disgruntled. It felt like he wasn't getting money he was supposed to get. This is what I think. This is what I feel, right? So I feel like he was comp started compiling things all this time. He played it off, in my opinion. Being upset, not getting whatever money, whatever. Being humiliated, he played it off. Like, oh, yeah, I'm cool. It's whatever, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? But the whole time, holding this stuff on, close to the vest. All of these different things, allegedly. You know what I mean? Videos, all of this stuff. So he's faking like he's cool, but he's secretly holding this stuff. Right. And now when he sees his chance. Now what he's doing is, is that he's coming out and letting everything fly. That's what I think is going on. So that when he says that in 112 right here, part 112 of this lawsuit, he says as evidence by a video. Of which screenshots are embedded below. So they're saying this video, of this stuff. Right there in the lawsuit. It says evidence by a video. It didn't say, oh, these are just allegations. They're saying they have evidence of a video. Here's the thing. You haven't seen the actual video because he's in possession of the video. Because you can't put the video file in a law in a paper, in a lawsuit. So now you don't know what that boy gave the feds, what videos he got. You don't know. And so if you're a celeb and you see this type of picture and you see this type of picture, that's a, that's a screenshot from a video this boy got. Think about that. We haven't heard Cuba Gunn Jr. say a word. He ain't said a word since that lawsuit came out. Hadn't said a word. Right? He's innocent until proven guilty. Hadn't said a word. Think about it.
Put that in y'all mind. Put that in y'all brain. Read what this boy said in the lawsuit. As evidence by a video, that means he had video, y'all. He had to. Because now, when you go to court, guess what's going to happen? He's suing Puff, right? So, when he goes to court, it's going to have to be discovery. Meaning, when they say in a lawsuit that as evidenced by a video, he's going to have to show the videos in court. If he go to court and he don't have the videos to back up and corroborate the stuff he said, there's really nothing you can prove by that picture right there. But if he got videos, like he say in a lawsuit, to corroborate what he's saying, and he have video, he said there was secret recordings that he have, if he presents that in court, it's over. It's over. So the question is, is, is he telling the truth about having the videos? Because guess what? He already gave the feds that boy, Brendan Paul. He said in the lawsuit, he said that Brendan acquires and distributes Mr. Combs blank and blank. A month later, P. Diddy get ran out at the airport with Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul gets caught with that stuff on him. All you got to do is put A and B together. So it's on you to believe if he got tapes on all of these people. It's on you. It's on you to believe whether or not you think that he's lying about this. Because obviously that boy got caught at the airport and got charged. Now he got released on bail, but he got charged. And the feds was on them. They was watching them. The feds just didn't all of a sudden appear as they was getting ready to get on the airport. Look, the plane door is open to the private jet. They're getting ready to get on the private jet and go out of the country. And the feds just run up on you out of nowhere. They've been watching you, dog. They've been on your helmet, bro. And you ain't even know it. They've been watching you. Look at the feds, y'all. They've been watching them. Right? Straight up. Straight up. He didn't know they was watching him. At this same time, his homes is getting raided. Right? And so, again, it's on you to believe if he has the actual video of that. He said he got that video. He said it right here. As in evidence by a video. Evidence. So, when he goes to court and he goes to discovery where he has to prove his claims in a lawsuit, he has to present that video. Well, go back to what Boosie said. Why ain't nobody standing up for him? Where is his friends? Who the hell gonna have friends if your friends find out you allegedly were secretly recording everything they was doing? Because they seen this boy's lawsuit where this boy said that he were, they was recording everything and using it against people allegedly. So now 50 says, they not saying nothing because they ain't know he was recording everything, LOL. Wait till I get the tapes. Right? Then you got the report yesterday from TMZ that somebody's selling the tapes for $1.5 million or to the highest bidder. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. So, yeah, man. You know? And again, go. I want all of y'all to go to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Go to YouTube and look at Michael Jackson when he was going through his situation. Look at all the celebrities spoke up for Michael Jackson and did interviews. Openly spoke out for Mike. Look at all the celebrities that openly spoke out on O.J. Simpson's behalf. All of them. Go look at all the celebrities that were speaking out on R. Kelly's behalf, even though Kells was going through that whole situation all of those years, from the first one till now. But ain't too many people saying nothing about Puff. 
You got to think about it. You know? You got to think about it. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, in 50, he feel like he got an ax to grind. Now, do I think that is right? No, I don't think 50 should say. I think 50, being who he is, <laughs> if he got a beef with Puffy, handle that behind the scenes. That's what I feel. I feel like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really got beef with him, you know what I'm saying, handle that behind the scenes. That's how I feel. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel, like being from that position, you know? So, I, like I said, because I, I, like, I agree with old boy who put that uh, uh, comment down there. Like, I didn't agree when 50 secretly recorded Young Buck. Like, you don't do that. I mean, that's, that was your man's. Like, you don't, you know, under no circumstance, you don't, you don't do that, bro. You don't do that, dog. You don't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? I like 50. I like his music. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't like how he move in that situation, bro. I don't like that, man. Like, real talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, some things, man, you move a different way, man. You know what I mean? Especially when you got a certain persona, you know? You know, but he making this thing personal, though. You know what I'm saying? And maybe it is personal. I mean, the mother of his children is involved. Maybe it is personal, but still, I, I would... I would t I would handle it behind the scenes. You know what I mean? That's just me. You know? Well, I can't I can't tell Fifty what to do. You're a grown ass man. You do whatever the hell you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But you know when you think about why ain't no black folks really standing up and celebrities standing up for Puff? Well, if, that, if they saw this lawsuit where this boy said that they they was recording everything. And they got politicians, athletes, and actors all on these videos and compromising situations, allegedly. Well, damn, why the hell would I want to speak up for you, too? I'm thinking, do you got something on me? You know what I mean? I'm just being honest with y'all. You know? And so, you know... You guys, let me know what y'all think, man. And let me say this to y'all, man. Never do that, dog. Like, if you got somebody, if you're an honorable person, man, never record that person like that, bro. Like, if you got somebody coming in your crib and, like, you got a party going on, you may have some shorties over there, and you know they married, yeah, I'm just saying, period, though. You should never do that against without them knowing. You should never do that, bro. That, that's, that's a no-no, man. You know what I'm saying? You might tell them, like, yo, I got cameras outside the crib and whatever, whatever, or whatever, but you don't do that, dog. And I ain't saying Puff did. He's being accused of doing that, doing that by that boy, but don't do that, dog. Because if you do that, like I said before, man, you know, that's one of the worst things that can happen. You know what I mean? So, again, I'm not saying that that's what Puff did. That's what he's being accused of. And so you guys – that's saying, you know what I'm saying, oh, man, this dude's capping this dude. Well, obviously, he wasn't capping to a certain extent because some of the stuff he said in the lawsuit already don't checked out to a certain extent, not to a full extent, to a certain extent. But that's the big thing right there, y'all, that everybody got to look at. When you go to the lawsuit and you look at Article 112 where he says, as evidenced by a video, that's the thing. When he go to court, he's going to have to show that evidence of that video. Because remember, when you go to civil court, they go through your whole lawsuit and all of your claims. So all of your claims in a lawsuit, you have to be able to prove in a court of law. So he says in his lawsuit as evidenced by a video. So when he goes in court, guess what they're going to do? If he got that video, they're going to play that video. Whatever videos he got, they're going to play him. You feel what I'm saying? And you don't even know if the feds got those now. And if the feds do got those videos, are the feds investigating you? And you don't know it. And you a celebrity. Everybody got to lay low.
and just hope and pray. You know what I'm saying? That you was nowhere around if anything went down. So you guys let me know what y'all think. And like, share, subscribe, man. You gotta use y'all minds. Critical thinking, man. Critical thinking, man. You know. Let me know what y'all feel, man. I don't agree. I'm gonna say it again. I want everybody to understand. I don't agree with handling this type of stuff publicly like that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it should be like if you really got a beef, like if I'm if I'm if I'm a street, if I'm a street nigga, and I really got beef. You're not finna hear about it online. You know what I'm saying? But this is a new era. The era we live in now, like, you know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, you would never hear about no stuff like that online. You know? When I was growing up, like, Cash had really had beef. You never heard about that on, on no social media. But now that social media is the wave, you know, it's, it's different now. You know what I mean? They're everything different now. In this era, everything. You know, the music, all that stuff. You feel me? So, I mean, y'all let me know what y'all feel, though, man, about what 50 said, man. Do y'all believe, I want y'all to tell me that in the comment section today. Do y'all believe that, that uh, um, what 50 is saying? Do y'all believe that, you know what I'm saying, there are, that did he they have taped or not? Y'all let me know that in the comment section, man. And, and let me know one more thing. Why don't y'all think more black folks have spoken up for P. Diddy in this situation? Or kept the same energy for other cats? Because that's a good question, too. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody is really keeping the same energy uh, on the allegations against Vince McMahon. Nobody's been keeping the same energy on the allegations against James Dolan. And they've, they've denied it. James Dolan denied his. You know what I'm saying? But nobody, the media, nobody kept their same energy on this. Like, none, none of the reports, none of us, to be honest with you. That is true. None of us. I mean, the same thing with the allegations that was against the basketball player. And the NBA still say they, they, they are investigating the situation against Josh Giddy. They never came back and said, that they had closed that investigation. But so are they still really investigating? ESPN them didn't talk about it. It just disappeared. It disappeared. And I told y'all yesterday, um, you know, that next day after that video came out of Dana White slapping his wife, Stephen A. Snitching them went on national TV talking about it. And it was on YouTube, I remember. And then I went back to see the video on YouTube the whole video had been erased from YouTube. The entire video. That entire segment had been erased. I said, why did they erase that? I can't find it no more. That entire segment had been erased. That they, they, they did, and it was only a short segment that they did on Dana White. When it, it was Stephen A was like, oh man, that's my friend, man. I really do, man. I said, what? This man don't slap the hell out of his wife on tape. I don't care if you say what she did something to her. That, if that was Kyrie Irving, y'all would have buried that dude, regardless. See? See? So, you know. You said Priscilla Rashad was the only one that stood up for Bill Cosby. That's a damn lie. I got a whole list of people. I got a whole list of celebrities that stood up for Bill Cosby. What are you talking about? You didn't see all those interviews online of celebrities standing up for Bill Cosby? Stop lying, Marcel Brown. You lie. You're a liar. That's a lie. Matter of fact, if anybody in this comment section knows celebrities who openly stood up for Bill Cosby, say, say it in the comment section right now. I know you lying. I know you lying. I know you lying. Now, that's a, now you woke me up. You're a liar. You a damn lie. I know you lying. Talking about she was the only one. You a damn, I saw all the interviews on YouTube. So I know you lying. I know people was doing interviews. Celebrities. So stop lying. 
Yeah, she stood up for him too. She was one of the ones. She was a main one, but she was one of the ones. So, yeah. Hey, man, come in here lying this morning like that, man. On Easter morning, you come in here lying like that, bro. Man, I'm gone, man. Man, y'all subscribe to the podcast show, man. Link pinned at the top of the comment section, man. Hey, man, go sit up here and talk about some. Yeah, man, it was only one person stood up for Bill Cosby, man. Man, get out of here, bro. You a, you a dog. Man, all you got to do is go on YouTube right now, and the interviews are still up on YouTube, man. Cut it out, bro. All them celebrities that was doing interviews saying Bill Cosby was getting railroaded, talking about how 30 or 40 years later, all these people coming out now, 50 years later. Get out of here, man. I seen it. You not finna rewrite history, bro. You not finna rewrite history. I'm gone, man.